If you think the next movie car has something to do with dinosaurs, you're a clever girl. This is a replica of the 1992 Ford Explorer XLT used in the movie Jurassic Park. In the original Jurassic Park book by Michael Crichton, the cars were a set of electric Toyota Land Cruisers, but director Steven Spielberg already had a deal with Ford to supply the cars for the film. Ford gave Spielberg seven Ford Explorers. They also used half-size models for filming and a stripped-down model for the interior shots. The full-size cars were turned over to a company called Industrial Light and Magic, or ILM, and, you guessed it, legendary car customizer George Barris to heavily mod these cars. A large chunk of the roof was replaced by a special full-length sunroof. This was perfect for the scene where the T-Rex crashes through the top and tries to eat the kids. The self-driving cars are commonplace now, but in 1993 that idea was revolutionary. They didn't have the technology, so to give the illusion that the explorers were self-driving, the vehicles were modified with redundant controls in the trunk's cargo area. So basically, a stunt driver was hidden in the trunk and controlled the car. And speaking of rearview mirrors, Steven Spielberg was in his car blasting earth, wind, and fire when he noticed his rearview mirror shaking to the beat. This gave him the idea to have the Jeep's mirror shake from the footsteps of the approaching T-Rex. The effect was created by attaching a small vibrating motor behind the mirror. The famous water ripples in the cup scene were surprisingly an extremely hard effect to produce. The ripples were made from a guitar string that was attached to the cups and then fed through and underneath the car. A crewman then pulled it tight and plucked the string to vibrate the water and get the iconic shot. Another fun fact about this T-Rex scene is that it originally wasn't going to be in the rain when it was first mapped out in pre-production. Later, Spielberg insisted that rain be added to the scene to make the T-Rex look more realistic and dramatic. The problem is that the animatronics were already built and the machinery wasn't designed to hold the extra weight from the rainwater. When it got too wet, it started to shake, so they frequently had to stop filming to swat its skin with towels to dry it off enough to continue filming. Thank you for watching, thank you for sharing, thank you for following Volo Museum, and instead of a joke today, I leave you with Owl Kitty's Jurassic Park, but with a cat. Keep absolutely still. This vision is based on movement. <laughs>